welcome to my very first Halloween video. I, of course, have my sister, my internet twin, Fashion by Ali, joining me today. Ali has done a numerous amount of Halloween fashion videos in the past. For today's collab, we have a two part video. In my video, we are going to be doing all Halloween outfits that you can make with stuff from your closet. And then for the second part of this video on Ali's channel, on my channel, I ordered a bunch of costumes and we're going to be testing them out, seeing how they look like on and all of the costumes were under $30. Yeah, super affordable. Awesome. So be sure to watch both videos. Also be sure to subscribe. Join the Miss Louie family. Hit that red subscribe button. Also subscribe to my girlfriend. Yeah, Allie. Love you guys to death and Love let's get started. Family. Couples idea number one is gonna be Wayne's World. We've got Wayne, we've got Garth. And starting with Garth, you're gonna throw on a band t-shirt. You can find some cheap ones at Forever 21, but I had a nice collection already. The more vintage -y and worn in, the better. Then and on top of that, for outerwear, you're gonna have a button down plaid shirt. Keep it open and loose or tied around your waist. You just wanna get that nice grunge combo there. And then for the jeans, something distressed and more boyfriend loose style would be perfect. Allie had the genius idea of just using some chopsticks as uh, drumsticks. And then throw on, of course, some thick plastic glasses. She just punched out the lens, which I thought was genius. So then for Wayne, we've got a printout of the Wayne's World logo. I just had a plain baseball cap. Dude, I just took some tape and stuck that on top of the front. And bam, you have the classic Wayne's World baseball hat. No need to go buy a unique one. You can just make it yourself. Then for the top, you got a plain t-shirt. I did a more fitted one, but you could of course do a more oversized plain black t-shirt, crew neck, and then I also went with some light wash destroyed jeans for that grungy look. And then lastly for shoes, just throw on your favorite sneakers. If you have Converse, that would be the best option, but I have my Supergras and Ali had her Adidas and I think it looked just fine. So this is a great combo. These are common things, especially if you like grunge style, you probably had all this in your closet already like I did. I did number two is going to be Gossip Girl. We got Serena Vanderwoodson and Blair Waldorf. Essentially these are, you know, preppy schoolgirl outfits with just a slight twist. Serena's a little bit more free spirited and trendy so I've got a long sleeve white button down blouse. I kept that untucked and then used one of Jeremy's ties and just loosely tied it around um, the collar. And then for bottoms, we have a plaid mini skirt. If you don't have a plaid mini skirt, you can use a navy or a black colored one. And then for shoes, we went with some trendy ankle booties to give it more of like a street style edge. And then for the bag, we went with a more or less structured uh, leather tote bag. Now for Blair, we're gonna keep it super posh and put together and upscale. So I've got a simple short sleeve white button down with a nice oversized black uh, fashion forward bow. I got this off of ASOS a few years ago, but you can easily make your own with just a simple strip of black fabric. For bottoms, I went with a plain black flared mini skirt. And then the accessories, I also want to keep it ultra preppy. So I have my Henry Bendel burgundy tote bag. You use any structured bag that you'd want. And then for my shoes, I've got my Everlane uh, day heels that are slick and black, but also really easy to walk in with some black knee-high socks I got from my Target for a few bucks. Love this idea if you're looking to go more feminine and cutesy for Halloween, and especially if you're a fan of Gossip Girl. Idea number three is a pair of bank robbers, but as I was editing this, I realized you can also be a mime. Just do the mime makeup and you're also good to go. So starting off from the top, you just need a plain black and white striped shirt. Could be short sleeve, long sleeve, does not matter. And then for accessories, you could do like a black beanie, or like a little black like bandit eye mask with holes in it, um, some blacked out sunglasses, and then of course gloves. If you're gonna do the mime, I think you need to do white gloves, but either way, you got some options there. And then for bottoms, just some black pants. Allie went really cute and brought over her overalls, which I think are so adorable and provides a little bit of variation if you guys are both going as big barbers together. And then for shoes, do just like plain black and white comfortable shoes. Best part about this outfit is you probably need a big bag, which can double as your bag for candy if you're trick-or-treating. I've got like literally just a trash bag or my favorite brand of reusable bags, Bagu. I had this like chicken black and white one which I thought went really cute with the outfit too. So either way, this is stuff that you definitely probably already have in your closet and it's also very comfortable too. Outfit idea number four, this one is like being a super nerd or a super geek. 
I actually think this one's my absolute favorite. Allie and I went all out with the side ponytails, the pigtails, the glasses, and then for the top, I wanted to have a little bit of pattern there, like nerdy pattern. So you could do stripes or plaid. You can throw on some suspenders. You can do overalls like Allie did with a little bow tie on there. Just kind of bring out all your geek gear and just throw it all on at once. You can't have too much. I think it just makes the outfit so much better. And last accessories I can think of, a backpack, a calculator, a ruler, or some books would be a really cute additional accessory if you're down to carrying that all night. I think that this outfit pairing is really easy and you can get very creative with it with all the funky patterns you have in your closet. And I just think it's a really cute duo idea. And our final easy couple do-it-yourself from your closet idea is being a pair of frat boys. Borrow stuff from your dad, from your boyfriend, from your guy friends. First of all, you gotta have the baseball cap flip backwards. Then throw on that big oversized button down shirt. You can do something nice and crisp or you can do something comfy like if you have an old frat shirt from an old formal. Throw on some of those J. Crew style shorts that come right above the knee. If you got some like pastel colors, that would be even better. And then for shoes, you can do Sperry's with the no socks. I didn't have them on hand so I got some loafers here. or. Some um, sneakers. Top it all off with a red party cup or you can even do a North Face jacket if it's cold. <laughs> all right you guys that does it for today's video. Please be sure to head over to Ali's channel and check out the second part of our collab which is all about testing costumes. If you guys want to go out and purchase a costume and don't want to spend too much money be sure to check out my video for some more costume ideas. If you guys are the absolute best please have an amazing safe and fun Halloween out there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!